Hi everyone. I just want to talk a little bit about the rule of 70, which is a very useful rule when you're dealing with growth rates. And all the rule of 70 says is the growth rate of a variable times the periods to double equals 70. Okay? And don't worry about where the formula comes from. It's actually an approximation, and I could prove it using natural logarithms, but I'm not going to bother doing that. So just accept this as an article of faith that the growth rate of a variable per period times the number of periods to double equals 70. So, for example, in the United States, if you go to the um, Bureau of Economic Analysis website, you'll discover that the U.S. Grow, has grown, on average, 3.2% per year. In other words, real GDP has grown by 3.2% a year in the United States from 1929 to 2012. So you can think of that as sort of like the long-run growth rate of the United States economy. Well, the rule of 70 is just one equation on two unknowns. If you know any one of the unknowns, you should be able to figure out the, third, the second unknown. So in this case, if the growth rate is 3.2%, then I can just go ahead and plug that in for the growth rate. Periods to double, which in this case will be, will be years since it's 3.2% per year. Oops. Uh, periods to double equals 70. And now it's just a simple high school algebra problem. So periods to double equals 70 over 3.2. And if you go ahead and you do the math, you should come up with, uh, what did you come up with? 21.8 or 21.9 years since the growth rate is in years. So that means historically the size of the United States has, economy has doubled every 22 years essentially, or, or every 21.9 years. Okay. Now, if you put in a different value, obviously, you would get a different uh, result. So let's suppose, for the sake of argument, the U.S. economy didn't grow at 3.2% a year, but instead it just grew at 2% a year. Well, in that case, then, going through and doing the calculation, you would find the economy wouldn't double every 21.9 years. The economy would double every 35 years. So a relatively small change in a growth rate can have a dramatic effect on how much an economy grows over very long periods of time. At a 2% growth rate, the economy is going to double, you know, twice in a century, just about. Whereas if you were growing at the, uh, the higher 3.2% growth rate and the economy doubled every 21.9 years or every 22 years, the economy would double four times in a century. So you can get dramatically different results in, about the size of the economy over short periods of time from relatively small differences in growth rates. You may have heard of this. Is, this is just another example of the power of compound interest or the power of compound growth that you may have heard about in other classes. Now, as I did this, I wrote this as the growth rate times the period to double equals 70. Well, some of you will say, hey, what happens if you have a negative growth rate? Well, if that's the case, then this doesn't, the rule of 70 doesn't give you the period to double, it gives you the period to have. In other words, for if you're talking about the growth rate of an economy, uh, you're talking about how long does it take for the economy to shrink in half. And so in that case, and let me, oops, let me erase those. You could just do a calculation that looks like this. The math and all the formal stuff is exactly the same, just a little difference in the terminology. And let's see, i got to get rid of this result and this result. So now I'm ready to go. So if the growth rate were, say, negative, oh, let's call it uh, 3%, say an economy was shrinking at 3% a year or an investment was shrinking at 3% of a year, or the price level was falling by 3% a year, or whatever it might be, then what you would have here is you'd have minus 3 times periods to half equals 70. So then we'd divide 70 by minus 3, and what we'd end up with is minus 20, or not, um, what we'd end up with is well, 23 point, negative 23.3 years, so really we're, I should have told you to take the absolute value of that. So 
I'm sorry when I did this calculation up here, what I should have said is, hey, take the absolute value, and so now divide by 3 and you'll end up with 23.3 years. So if something is shrinking at the rate of 3% a year, then in 23.3 years, it'll be half the value of it was when it started. And that's all there really is to the rule of 70. It's a convenient rule that you can use when an economy is growing or when you're look, talking about a variable that's growing at a constant rate over time or, an econ or a variable that's shrinking at a constant rate over time. It gives you a good sense of just how long it'll take for the, the economy to double or the economy to fall in half or the standard of living to double or the standard of living to fall in half or the price level to double or the price level to fall in half. Alright, so that's it for the rule of 70.